press record. All right, cool. So, hey guys, we are recording. Um, obviously, I'm not Keith. If you guys don't know me, my name is Rose Smith. I've been a beach body coach for about five years. I'm one of the leaders um, in the 80 Day Obsession uh, team group for us. And tonight I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite topics, which is nutrition. And obviously like that is a huge part of the results that we're helping people get, right? Like you always hear like your nutrition is 70 to 80% of your results. And honestly, like that's your health is what you eat. That's what you become. And I'll, I'll talk about this going further Two is it's not only what you eat, but what you can assimilate and what your body can get from that nutrition is so important and it's way overlooked. So let me go back a little bit to about me and, and my background and, and my story. I'm sure we have some new coaches on that don't know me and you guys, like if you haven't been drinking Shakeology for 30 days yet, like you guys can use my story and use each other's stories to really talk to people about what we have to offer, right? Whether it's the workouts and especially Shakeology and everything else that we have is that like you guys, I'm going to give you a lot of like info tonight about like nutrition and, and your gut health and all those types of things and the performance line. But people don't really care about the facts. Yes, they're important. And I think they're important so you can have that confidence and the belief in what we have to offer. But, you know, it's facts, tell, story, sell. So it's the stories and the way that you can reach people through those stories that really makes the difference. So, like I said, going back to kind of my story, Five years, five years ago, before I became a beach body coach, I was actually a high school athletic trainer. Um, so I was pretty much like a physical therapist, but just for athletes. And it's kind of not funny, but like people always thought like I knew a lot about like nutrition and all that kind of stuff. Just like doctors, I think I had one or two classes in my four years of going through um and getting my degree, just two. And I'm supposed to know everything, you know, to get athletes in like the tip top conditions. And it was all focused on, on really fitness. Um, so I was the athletic trainer that was burnt out, completely overweight, eating like crap. And I personally needed something to get myself back on track. And that's kind of like what blew my mind is like, I knew what I needed to do, but even with my background, I still needed something. So I did insanity. I got it off of Amazon. I know big, you know, big beach body. No, no, but don't throw those people um, out with the bath water. Like still those people, you never know who they might become. Right. Um, but I, I didn't do shakeology in, after I finished insanity. And growing up, I had a lot of stomach issues. IBS, you know, I was labeled with IBS. Um, I was con constantly worried about like where I was going. I always knew like the quickest location to the nearest bathroom. Like I didn't care where I was at. Like if I had to go, like if you have IBS, like you got to go, you got to go. And that was my life. And, and that was pretty normal to me and having that anxiety about going places. I remember being in the car with my husband um, and we laugh about it now, but we had to go to a funeral with his parents. It was a long ride and I knew like my stomach, I was going to get anxious in the car because I knew it was a long drive. And 20 minutes in, I was like, holy crap, like I got to go. And I'm like, where's the closest place? I didn't know where we're at. Like we had to stop at this diner and I'm like, crap, like that's how I have to live the rest of my life. And that's what I really thought. Um, I, I went to doctor after doctor um, and all they wanted to do was give me pills, right? Give me endoscopies, colonoscopies, all that fun jazz and label me with IBS. Everyone said, you know, I couldn't do much with nutrition, right? It was just like my genetics, but that was total BS as I've come to learn. But being a coach and getting into the nutrition side of things, I had to learn on my own. So everything that I'm going to be telling you guys tonight is really because I had to learn from my own knowledge and my own health. And I had to learn that I kind of, don't get me wrong. I think doctors definitely have their place in medicine, but for myself, I needed to do my own research 
if I want to stop kind of playing that victim role of like, poor me, I have all this, these stomach issues and really become um, the advocate for myself in, in solving the problem. So I am like a big nerd. So I read everything that I possibly can. And when I first started learning about Shakeology and, and even before I started um, learning about Shakeology, before I even tried it, I looked through everything. Like I did my research and I always tell um, my customer like, yeah, totally, you know, like my, like I tell them my story, but you got to do your own, own research, do your due diligence and Google the freaking ingredients and you'll see that it's legit stuff. So I have looked at all the other like shakes and stuff out there. Um, I personally, like when I was going through insanity, if you've ever done it, every morning I would get so lightheaded and I would still do it. And then my coach was like, finally, after I finally reached out to my coach, it took me a while. Um, she told me about Shakeology and you know, I, I gave her the whole, nah, I don't need that. But I knew I kind of like deep down inside did need that. Um, and I had the fitness down, but I needed the nutrition part. So I did my own due diligence and that was really the catalyst for me to start learning more about nutrition, what it could do for my body, how I could really heal myself. So um, books like It Starts With Food, I highly suggest um, Darren O'Lean's Super Life. We actually had a team retreat last year at our house and, and this was a present um, or like a giveaway to one of my girls and she left it here by accident. I never gave it to her. I took it and I ended up sending her one through Amazon. But this book gives such in-depth information, not just about superfoods, but how, you know, food is medicine and how it really makes the complete difference in your life. So I highly, highly suggest getting this book, going through it with a highlighter, and you can use a lot of this stuff here for your challenge groups and teach them, you know, why Shakeology is so important and reading all this stuff. Um, this is another one I really like, Brain Maker, on how things that, you know, whether it is IBS or you have migraines or you have rheumatoid arthritis or any other autoimmune disease, a lot of doctors will, what? They will try to fix your brain. They will try to fix your bones. They will try and fix your joints. They cover it up with some sort of pill, right? They don't get to the root of the problem. And most, 99% of the problems are coming from your gut. So your gut is where your immune system lives. And so this is where we're getting into a little bit more in depth. And like I said, I'm not an expert at this, but I learned through kind of like reading all these books and, and kind of going um, through my own journey and learning to heal myself. Um, so your gut is a unicellular one level of cells in your stomach lining. So if that stomach lining gets damaged, then you're going to have what's called, quote unquote, leaky gut. I'm not going to go down that road because I can talk about that forever and I, I want to talk about a lot of other stuff tonight too. But if you have that, that damage in your gut, you're not going to be able to absorb nutrition. Things are going to go through your stomach lining wall, getting to, get into your bloodstream, and that's what causes all the issues like migraine and, and stomach issues and joint problems and rashes and... Um, what do you call, um, psoriasis, all those skin conditions, it all starts in the gut. And that's where I started learning how Shakeology can really start to heal your gut so you solve the problem and you're not just covering up with some sort of Band-Aid or, or some sort of pills, right? Um, so Shakeology is really the bread and butter of our business. We need to, if you're a new coach, just go and Google three of those ingredients and you'll slowly start to learn this. I didn't learn all this stuff overnight. It, you know, I've been a coach for almost five years, but like I said, it's going to give you the confidence when you're talking to people. Now, I'm not going to spew all this stuff to people when I'm talking to them right in the beginning. I'm going to share my story. I'm going to share my story how once I started drinking Shakeology, my stomach started feeling better. And at that time, I really didn't understand how those pre and probiotics really do work 
to heal the gut first, right? So if we heal the gut first, then all the good stuff that we're getting from Shakeology, like the superfoods, can come into play and really start to give us the energy. It can start giving us the vibrancy. It can help us sleep better at night. It can you know, make our hair and nails grow better. It can recover our muscles better. So we first need to heal that gut, and that's where the pre and probiotics in Shakeology actually come from. So there's one probiotic in Shakeology, and I'm totally going to butcher the name, but it's Bacto, I think it's Bactocillus, something like that. Starts with a B, ends with the illus. If you Google that, that probiotic is the only one that will go, to, go through that digestive system and not get fizzled out, meaning our stomach acid will usually break down all of the other probiotics before it can actually do its job. Whereas this probiotic in Shakeology has, is it encapsulated enough that it can actually do the job it's supposed to and heal the gut. So Google that and you'll find that that probiotic is super expensive. Nobody uses that, but we use it in Shakeology. So that's just like one thing that I learned. That's why it started helping heal um, my IBS, right? Um, so that's what I talk about to people is how I didn't have to know where the nearest bathroom was. I didn't have to have anxiety or have panic attacks about going to somebody's a funeral or a wedding or what was going to be there to eat in fear of, you know, something would come up <laughs> that I didn't want to. Um, and then, you know, slowly after I started telling my story, that's when people started getting interested. And even like my own mom, man, like she wanted nothing to do with it. But she, being my mom, she was like, all right, I'll try it. She started drinking it and she always had psoriasis on her hands really, really bad to the point that they would break open, like on her palms, she would itch them and they would break open, bleed like gross, nasty and like we don't want to look at that, right? <laughs> but she would go to the doctor, they would give her some lotion, it wouldn't work, and she did that, I don't know, she's what, 60 something now. Um, but she did that for a majority of her life. She started drinking Shakeology, then all of a sudden, her hands started to heal. And her being the biggest skeptic was like, nah, it's not Shakeology. And she didn't tell me this, but she stopped drinking it. And guess what started to happen? It started to come back on her hands. And then she started drinking it again, and it started going away. So those are the stories that I tell people because we didn't know that was going to freaking help my mom, you know, heal her psoriasis. Like that's crazy. But that's what is in Shakeology is the superfoods, the nutrients. So no, this is not just a weight loss shake. This is a nutrition shake that can really heal people from the inside out. So let me kind of um, open and, and share my um, presentation that I have just so I don't miss anything important. Okay. So we can all look at this stuff right in our coach online office. There's so much information in there. I highly suggest taking that time, you know, to just look and start being knowledgeable, knowledgeable about this stuff. So obviously Shakeology has the protein in it. Yes, I tell people it's a pro it has protein in it, but it's not a protein shake. It has antioxidants, super fruits. It has phytonutrients. So we are so stressed out, right? Like this entire nation, everyone's stressed. Everyone's rushing around, driving the kids here, doing this, doing that, trying to you know be the best mom, be the best this. All that stress is really affecting our health. And phytonutrients helps to combat that stress and supports our cells from getting all stressed out. Those are super important. Adaptogens, pre um, probiotics, prebiotics, and fiber. Fiber is so important. So if you've ever heard of people like doing Shakeology and they're like, ah, oh, my stomach hurts, like it's making me run to the bathroom. That's because they haven't been getting fiber in, to begin with. Average American, if you're a woman, you should be getting 25 grams of fiber. If you're a man, you should be getting 35. But the average people, they're only getting five. So when they start drinking Shakeology, yes, in the beginning, you might have that stomach discomfort because you're going from five grams to a lot of grams of fiber. So for people like that, that haven't been getting a lot of fiber in their diet, 
have them work up slowly, do, you know, half a scoop, things like that. But those pre and probiotics in Shakeology, like I said, your, your um, immune system is in your gut. So if you know people who are sick very often and now is the time where everyone's getting sick, right? Though that, like, this would be awesome for people who you see are constantly sick or constantly on antibiotics. If you're constantly on antibiotics, you are destroying the good bacteria in your gut and you have nothing to fight against all the bad stuff in the environment that's coming at you. So that's where the pre and probiotics come to fight in to heal and, um, get that gut lining back to where it's supposed to be. You have the digestive enzymes and the vitamins and minerals in Shakeology. So I'm not gonna read all this stuff. It's in your coach online office. You can definitely look it up more. It's on the back of your bag as well. I'm gonna stop for a second and kind of talk about, I always get this question, what's the difference between vegan Shakeology and whey Shakeology, right? So obviously the vegan Shakeology uses plant protein, quinoa and pea, and the regular Shakeology uses whey protein, which comes from cow. Personally, my opinion, I always tell people, go with vegan. If you have people that want whole food formulation, it is vegan Shakeology. Reason being, if you look at the back of the bag of um, regular Shakeology, you're going to see where there is, you know, it, it gives you the, the different vitamin levels. So you'll see vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin E. If you look at the bag on the vegan Shakeology, it doesn't have that. And some people will go, oh, I guess there is no vitamin D, vitamin C, whatever in vegan. Yes, it absolutely is in here. But in the regular Shakeology, it's actually fortified, meaning they do put the vitamins in the regular Shakeology, and that's why you can get the exact amounts of vitamins because it's fortified in here. Whereas in the vegan, which is a whole food formula, you can't, if I grab a bunch of um, carrots and I want to know how much vitamin C is in it, and I do that for every single bag, like that's just no way you're going to be able to add that up. So there's going to be no way I can add up all the nutrients in different superfoods because there's going to be different soil. There's going to be different sunlight. There's going to be different water at that crop. So that's why you don't see that in the vegan formula. But I, hands down, always recommend the vegan formula and protein, the key, uh, the, the pea and quinoa um, protein in this is a lot easier for stomachs to digest than whey protein. So those are the differences. Like I said, whole food formula, if you have those people who are like nutrition gurus, you're going to tell them to go with the vegan. Let me go back to my screen share. Okay. So this is what I always talk about with my girls in my challenge groups, because like I said, Shakeology is not just for weight loss. It's a nutrition shake. So you're getting what you need to fulfill your body's need. And I always talk about this yo-yo diet. I didn't come up with this. Like I said, I did a lot of research trying to heal myself. And if you guys know Shay Stanford, you, uh, her name is spelled S-E-A-Y. And she has great videos on YouTube and she's all about Shakeology, doing research on it. I got this from her and it just made so much sense. So I always share this with my people because it just like makes the light bulb moment go off, right? So breaking the yo-yo diet cycle is when you start a diet, what do you do? You reduce calories and then you increase your exercise. So you're increasing your energy expenditure and then you're reducing the calories. Then you do that for 10 to 14 days and you start to get a nutrient deficiency. Now, even before that, you know, most people are already nutrient deficient. There's, everything is processed. There's so much crap that people are eating. They don't even know. But even, you know, in Darren's uh, Super Life book, he talks about how the food from 50 years ago is completely different than how it is today. And the nutrition from an apple today compared to 50 years ago has like 70% less nutrition. So even if you're eating super, super clean, you're still not getting the nutrition 
even from that super clean stuff, just because of the, the farming industry and how everything is being processed through that. So you're probably already starting off with a nutrient deficiency. Then you start reducing your calories, increasing your energy expenditure, and then you hit that 10, 14 day mark, and what happens? People start to fall off. They have temptations, they have cravings, and they give in. And then on Sunday, they feel so guilty, and then they say, on Monday morning, I'm going to do it again, and then they start the diet, and, and that's the whole circle. How do you break that cycle is by fitting Shakeology into the puzzle. That's the missing piece. So when you can fill those nutrition gaps, and that's really what cravings are. It's your body saying, I'm not getting everything that I need to get. You have those signals going to your brain saying, I'm missing something, I'm missing something, but you're getting the wrong, it's getting mixed messages. It's saying, I'm missing something and you eat more food, right? You, you, you crave ice cream, you crave chocolate, you crave sweet and salty things. But it's actually the nutrition that your body is sending the signal for. So you go and grab some ice cream or whatever it is. That's where Shakeology comes into place to fill those nutrition gaps so that you're breaking that cycle. You're getting the right nutrients. And the cool thing with Shakeology is if you want to lose weight, you can lose weight. If you want to maintain weight with it, you can maintain weight with it. If you want to gain weight with it, you can gain weight with it. So if you want to gain weight, you just add more healthy fats to it. So you could add a half of an avocado. You can add almond milk to it, coconut milk to it. You can add some hemp seeds to it. You can add some peanut butter, right? So you can make a, a bigger calorie shake with Shakeology, or if you, you want to lose weight, you can just do water and ice like I do, or you can just do you know a teaspoon of peanut butter. So you can make Shakeology whatever calorie um, bracket you want to just by adding more into it. So that's why it's just not weight loss. It's really the bigger picture of your health. I don't know how that green stuff started showing up. I didn't touch the screen, <laughs> but that's kind of weird. Okay, so this is where Shakeology will come into place and, and break that yo-yo diet cycle for people by giving them the right gut nutrition to heal their gut, and then your body is going to be able to absorb all the good stuff that you're giving it with Shakeology. Okay, so obviously we're going to get into... 80 day obsession, because that's what I kind of said we were going to talk about. We obviously haven't gotten the nutrition plan yet. That's coming out January. You know what? Let me, um, I didn't actually play this. There you go. Make it a little bit bigger. Um, the meal plan is not coming out for it yet, but a little obsessed. They did kind of come out with this workout meal block for us. It's on Beachbody On Demand. Just go into that little section um, that's to the right of the workouts and you'll get this. And this is what Autumn says is going to be pretty close to the nutrition um, workout meal block in 80 Day Obsession. So Shakeology is going to count as one of your reds, but the performance line is already worked into it. So you don't need to take any of your containers for energize or for hydrate or for recover or for um, the nighttime. I forget what the name of the nighttime one is, but we'll cover that too. Um, so I'm not going to go over the containers because I think they're kind of pretty self-explanatory and we'll definitely get into that more, you know, next week, kind of prep week um, when the meal plan comes out. But just know that Shakeology, yes, will count as a red and then the performance line stuff is, is kind of already worked into the system. So I added the three-day refresh on here because Personally, this is what I'm going to be doing. And what I've been doing with the people who have been signing up with me is I will add the three-day refresh into their cart. So say they're just doing um, the all access with the 80-day obsession um, accessories and Shakeology for 170. I'll add the three-day refresh to the cart because it's $40 on sale when you do it that way. And I'll tell them, I'll say, hey, I added this um, three-day um, kickstart 
that we're going to be doing before we start 80 day obsession. It's on sale this month. Um, you can, you know, it's going to get rid of sugar cravings. It's going to really kind of get you being consistent and get you into a routine of having a plan in place, right? So it's setting people up right from the get go with something that's here, simple, easy. You're going to do this, this, and this. You're going to do it at these times. That way they're going to be able to go into 80 a day obsession with the meal, um, the time nutrition and be able to go through it so much more simply. Right. Um, so I put this in their cart. I say, I, you know, I give them the little like two sentences, like I'm doing me, my girls, we're doing this before we start on January 15th. Um, it's going to help with get rid of your sugar cravings. And it's a really simple um, meal plan that you're going to be able to follow. Um, if you want it, leave it in your cart. If you don't want it, you can just edit it out. 90% of people, I would say almost 100% of the people have kept the three-day refresh. I mean, what a great way to get people started. So even if you haven't been doing this, I would say, what, five to seven days for people to get this shipped, there's still time. So if you have like your own group or your own, you know, your, your own challenge group for 80-day obsession um, or your own people, right? Like, let them know, like, you know what? I'm going to be doing the three-day refresh you know, next Friday, Saturday, Sunday, then you start um, the 80 day obsession plan on Monday, January 15th. Great way to just get people started. And it's part of that nutrition plan, right? So I'm going to talk now about the performance line because the 80 day obsession, right, is a performance program. It's not technically for beginners. Yes, beginners have um, you know, Tulin, she, Coach Tulin, if you guys know her, she's one of the coaches that was in the original test group. She modified this. Her husband, who has an MS and a wheelchair, he did this. But this program really deserves performance nutrition. If you or you have people that are trying to do it without Shakeology or the performance line, and I've talked to a lot of people who were in the original test group, you're not going to make it through the 80 days. This is high intensity. You're going to be pushing your body to the limits. And if you don't get those right nutrition, the right nutrition and the nutrition that can, that is absorbed, right? It's not good if you just take nutrition in and it goes right out. It needs to be absorbed in order for your body to heal from that workout so that you can do the next day and the next day, right? Because everything is going to be changing every single day. Our body is desperately going to need that to recover from all the, you know, from 80 different workouts. So all this stuff I found in the coach online office, right? Energize. You guys are going to take this 15 to 20 minutes right before you do your workout. Um, it has amino acids. So it's going to help with, so when you work out, you build up lactic acid in your muscles. And I'll talk about what's called DOMS, delayed onset muscle soreness when we talk about um, recover. But this is really going to help you, number one, yeah, give you energy, but sustain that energy and have endurance so you can go through your workouts stronger, longer, be quicker during the moves. This has the bright yellow color always like freaks people out, and I'm going to butcher this name too, but um, it's called, it's a phytonutrient called Husserin, I think I'm saying it right, but that's the yellow that you see. The brighter the yellow, the better that it is. Obviously, energized, pretty bright yellow. Um, beta alanine is where you get the tingly stuff from. Um, that's absolutely normal. I mean, I think I felt that like the first two times I had energized, but after that, it goes away. So let your people know. And if it's your first time doing energized, that's absolutely totally normal to feel tingly on your lips or your fingers, wherever. Um, so go through this stuff. It's in your coach online office. I'm not going to go through it all. So recover. This is what's going to stop that delayed onset muscle soreness. So delayed onset muscle soreness is after you work out, it usually peaks 24 to 48 hours after your workout. Now, if you're really sore the next two days, what's going to happen? Either one, you're going to say, I'm too sore, I'm not going to do my workout. Or two, you're going to have ass your workout. Sorry if there's any kids. And you're not going to maximize what you and be efficient the next day going into the new workout that you're doing. So that's where 
Recover comes in and really gives you those um, BCAs, branch chain amino acids, and repairs your muscles. So you're not going to be feeling the heavy, heavy delayed onset muscle soreness. Talking to the people in the test group, yes, you will still be sore, but not as severely sore as if you didn't. So this is what people said in the test group that saved them from completely falling off and not getting through the 80 days. So if you're one of those people, if you're a coach right now and you don't have recover, I highly suggest after this call going and getting this because I don't think, and I, I, and I personally, I think when people start doing the workout and you're, you're in day two and three and you guys don't, and you know, you or your people aren't drinking this, you're going to realize like, oh crap, like I need to get this. So don't think that you can go without this because you're just, you're just not going to make it. All right. Hydrate. Um, some of the test groupers said on the cardio days, they did use this. They didn't use it every day. Um, but this is way better than things like Gatorade. We know it has a lot of chemicals and just a bunch of crappy sugar, but this gives the right amount of what we need because when we sweat, all that comes out and we need to replenish. And, and that's why um, this is just during your workout. This is when you're going to be, what you can be drinking during your workout so that you're getting the right levels of sodium and electrolyte replacement. So I have this on hand. I have it on hand. Um, and I think my husband is watching TV now, but he likes it after... <laughs> A long night of drinking. <laughs> so if you're feeling that one night, hydrate's good for that too. Okay. So the recover, um, the nighttime, the recharge, that's the name. Recharge, recharge. I love this stuff. If you are like a cake batter, if you like cake batter, like that's what this tastes like. So this is taken at nighttime. I'm also going to be doing this too. So this is to really recover your, um, your muscles and your body at night because that's when a lot of your repairing happens. And I know Autumn is going to talk about a lot about getting the right amount of sleep because that's when all the hard work and that's when your cells and everything starts repairing itself. Um, and if I think if you're a nighttime snacker, this is a great thing to have on hand in case you still have that urge. Um, so you're kind of getting a twofer for this. It's going to be like your, your nighttime treat, and it's going to obviously help with your, your muscle recovery. And I think it also has the BCAs in it as well. Again, I found this in the Coach Online office. I'm not going to go through it, but you can see all the different ways that the performance line is going to help you just really get the best results, right? Like that's, like people ask me all the time, well, why can't I use this thing at GNC? Or um, I think there's something on like bodybuilder.com I got the other day. And I'm just like, hey, listen, if you want to get the best results, if you want to do this program like it's intended to, this has already worked out for you. The macronutrients, the carbs, protein, fats are already worked out. The micronutrients. They're already in this. They're already in Shakeology. They're already in the performance line. It's, it's doing the plan how it's supposed to. It's not taking one thing out and, and throwing something in. You don't know if that whatever you're throwing in is actually going to work. It's not. This is all scientifically pre-planned -pre and done and tested over and over to get us the best results. And that, if we get great results, what is that going to do? That's just going to increase our confidence. That's going to increase our excitement. That's going to increase our belief to share this with other people. And that's really, you know, being a product of the product. That's what it's about. It's not about getting six pack abs, but it's about saying, yeah, like I did this and it works and I'm excited and I love the way I feel. And like, this is totally going to work for you, right? All right, so here's, that's where all the information is going to be at. So what, where am I at time-wise? All right, 9.36, not too bad. All right, let me exit here. So let me just go through um, the chat really quick and see if I missed anything. Okay. Ooh, PB2 with a nighttime snack. Really great. I like that. Awesome. Yeah, so 
that's what I got for you guys tonight. Um, I definitely have some time if you want to unmute yourself, ask me any other questions. Like I said, I'm not an expert, just kind of learned all this stuff going um, through and, and learning it for myself. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. You could just unmute yourself or you can type it in the chat. Bueller. Did you guys get something out of tonight? You're welcome. You're welcome. All right, cool. I think we're good. So January 8th will actually be the full nutrition plan. We'll definitely go through that with you guys. Um, and hopefully you're all in all be in Autumn's group as well. So you'll get a ton from her. But, um, oh, and what I did in the um, album section of the group, there was already something put on the Beachbody blog of different um, pre-workout meals. So definitely check that out. I know Beachbody blog is where I get a lot of my nutrition information too for my challenge group. So always, um, you know, just Google Beachbody blog. And you'll, and you'll find it and you can check it out there. But we'll be post, posting up a ton of meal plans and options and recipes and what we're eating. So thanks for joining us tonight, guys. And um, have a great Thursday night and weekend. See ya.